Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Sky here. We are here on Lucky Dog on the Ave, the number one thrift store in Seattle. We are here with one of the owners, Jordan. Got a lot of clothing, hype piece pieces, and shoes, and accessories. Let's go ahead and check out what they got. So Jordan, can you tell us a little bit about the history of the store as well as when you guys started? Yeah, so we started in 2013 actually. My cousin Gus, is his, it was his parents' house and we after we graduated from college, they decided to let us rent out a few rooms in their house. So we started just making racks in there. Uh, bring, I brought my shoe collection in there. Gus had a bunch of vintage stuff. We always were going out thrifting, reselling stuff, so we decided to make a business of it. And uh, probably should mention our mascot, Frank. He was our, uh, our bulldog, best dog in the world. And he was just a great, public figure and we decided to make him our brand ambassador. So I know at your guys' old location, you guys had quite a bit of promotions going on. Do you guys have anything planned for this store? Actually, yeah, we do. Um, you know, at the other location, we had the little mini hoop and we did a shoot on Fridays, free throw Friday for 15% off. So we decided a new shop, decided to kind of step it up a little bit and uh, get the real size hoop. Let me uh, see. Might give people a chance to just put it out of your dog soup. Man, I don't think I can do that, but let me try to fail. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Nope, let me do it. That's the thing, too. We got, we got you covered. Oh, yeah, they got me. Alright, man, you gotta throw it down? Shoot, let's do it. Let's try it. Front. They got a nice setup. They got the whole suit for the Supreme Fox Race outfit. They got the Supreme ladder as well as the Supreme motorbike. That's honestly a super dope collector's item. Here we got some of the most fire TNF Supreme pieces that they got in the shop. This was released just last year. Police, the white, red, and black. I think this is the best colorway. Moving on to the next piece, they got even the by any means necessary nubs. This is a crazy piece. I own the pullover of this, but I actually don't own any TNF Supreme Nups. This might just have to be a pickup. So I know these are going for like at least 2K on the market. This is super clean. It is worn and it's going for an amazing deal. 1500 or 1450 if you have Lucky Dog Prime. This kit released just last year as well. It's the all black. This is my second favorite colorway out of the three that dropped. Just because it's black, simple, you can rock it with anything. So now we're pretty much at the glass section, pretty much where all the heat sneakers are. The first thing that popped out to me when I first came in had to be these Travis Scott ones. And they did a surprise like drop where I believe it was only like 250 pairs, could be wrong, but it was super limited during the Grammy performance. These are super clean, they're dropping in April. So on the inner of the shoe, it has Cactus Jack, kind of like in a almost invisible print near the Nike swoosh. It just also has the normal swoosh, but on the outside, this is a very controversial topic, whether people like it or not. They have the really large reverse swoosh, and I personally like it, I think it's a dope, unique touch as well as on the tongue it's got the cactus jack on the side as well as the Nike Air so they killed it on this the leather looks amazing also on the back they got the logo in my hand we got the off-white Jordan 1 in the Chicago colorway this is part of the top 10 these did drop twice and honestly these are probably the most expensive off-white Jordans that ever released pretty much out of the entire Nike collab the details on these are crazy these are definitely on the category of one day I'm gonna cop. It's just the prices are outrageous. They're going for 25 to even 3K. And so we got the Cactus Jack Jordan 4s here. These sneakers actually shot up in value. I honestly regret not getting them when they were about like 330 to 350. Now they're going for like five, almost 600. These are a super clean colorway. They kind of remind you of the M&M 4s, but they're a lot more affordable, different shade. But I know lots of people were comparing that, but I really like the 
details on it. We got the cactus jack on the back. And overall, it's just a really solid colorway. They got the off-white Prestos, the original colorway. I do own the triple black and the all-whites of these, but I never had the opportunity to get this specific colorway. So in my hand, we got the Band 1s, released in 2016. I've actually owned a couple pairs of these, and these were a super huge come up. I copped them when they were low. Ended up going up crazy in value. I made quite a bit of money on reselling all of them. I kind of regret letting go all of them because I do miss having a pair to rock. Here we got the Supreme kind of like light royal blue box logo. This released just last year, super clean. They're going for about 800. This next piece is definitely a grail to so many collectors, the American flag box logo. I actually own this, I copped it from Urban Necessities and the details on this is super clean and it I think it's kind of hard to find a piece that's this clean nowadays because it is an older piece and I believe this is going for about 1300, so not that bad a price. You know, if you're uh, ever wanting to flex on Independence Day, this is definitely the best move for it. So this is a really older piece. This is a CDG, one that people probably don't really recognize as much. They don't go for as much as like the other pieces, like the polka dots, but it's just a simple white tee with the reverse Supreme box logo. And even on the back, it's got this kind of like digital camo. And honestly, it's a really sl simple piece, really slept on in my opinion. So they got a lot of fire staple accessories as well. They got like the bookcase holder, the tennis balls, the Supreme Camel face mask. That's a super dope piece. I personally would want to get the all black, but still fire, as well as these like Supreme like little cups and also got the Supreme water bottle. And even over here, they got like the purple box logo stickers. Those go for a crazy amount. Anything purple box logo or Supreme in general goes for a hefty amount. And they even got the UK like British flag box logo. Pretty much a lot of dope pieces. I really like the cash cannon over here. I own that. It's a really fun accessory, just fun to mess around with, and also great for pictures as well. Yo, so on this rack, we got the more affordable items. They're not as like grand as like a Supreme Box logo or TNF Supreme. They're like a lot cheaper. We got the anti-social club. We also got some Bape crew neck. This one's 330. Nice red camo with the shark face on it. Also, we has got WGM on it. We got some CDG with the polka dot with the traditional heart on it. Here, this is not a bad price for Bape. 150 for a t-shirt with the traditional ape on it. So this is a crazy piece. This Supreme Akira, this released like, I believe a couple years ago. I love anime. I think the design for the Akira, the whole collab is really sick. Here we got the gold TNF Supreme. This one's going for 575, so this particular drop I don't think really kicked off. So here we got the Supreme Fox Racing Long Sleeve. They came out with a bunch of biking gear, including helmets, the goggles, and a lot of other stuff. Here they got a lot of like cheaper, like heavy metal design t-shirts. I know those are really in and just really dope pieces to have. Most of these items are ranging from like 10 to $20, so it's not just all hype these items here. You can get a lot of good stuff. They got quite a good jersey selection. You know, in Seattle they got a rep the Seahawks jerseys, and over here we got more vintage Seattle Sonics gear. Got like a small little like kid size long sleeve crew neck as well as like the old vintage jerseys. So here on the sneaker wall, they pretty much got what you would consider like GR based sneakers. We got like the Concord 11s 2018 with the 45. Got the Spider-Man 1s. These are crazy, they got mad details. Over here we got the Royal Ones. These are crazy, I used to own these as well. Ended up reselling them to make quite a bit of profit. We are here with the other owner of Lucky Dog, Gust. We're gonna be pretty much going over the selling uh, process and how they pretty much buy out collections for the store. You wanna elaborate further on what you guys do? Yeah, so basically, uh, anytime you wanna sell, you can bring in anything to the shop. At this location, we don't do uh, appointments for now. So you can walk in at any time. There's a stack of gear right here. I'm gonna go through it quickly and just kind of give a brief, a brief like overview of what we buy. Um, the Astro World merch, like we're definitely buying that kind of stuff right now. Mainly stuff that's just like that we can sell. We know is gonna sell right away. We'll pick up um, the Kanye merch. Not as much right now. The Astro World, like all this type of stuff, definitely we're picking up. Uh, Adidas, Calabasa sweats, definitely. Um, but yeah, we kind of just go by like, if the product goes out and it's selling well, we'll pick it up, we'll put it in the shop. 
most Astro World shirts, like brand new, are selling for around a hundred dollars. Like used, we might sell it for around like seventy-five bucks. Like we probably offer like fifty bucks on that one. This one we might sell for a little bit more, but it it really depends on the style of it and like the image, the graphics, um, what it's hidden for, what people want to, you know, what people are buying them for. Uh, I mean. Something like this, we'd probably sell for around yeah. like 140, 150. We'd yeah. probably offer around 100. Otherwise, this one we'd probably offer around like 30, 40 bucks, selling for like 50, 60 bucks. Before we head out, I just wanted to go over some of the pieces we picked up. We ended up getting the Supreme Kayak, brand new, super clean. We got the Supreme Akira deck, the Neo Tokyo. This is honestly one of my most favorite decks that they've ever dropped. The details, and since I'm a huge anime fan, I love it. Super clean, and we also got simple Supreme Cups, which are really pretty good. much wrapped it up here at Lucky Dog on the Ave. We checked out their clothing, their hype beast pieces, as well as accessories, and pretty much just everything. They got a lot of dope pieces. So make sure you check out their other old location at Greenwood. They do have two. They're both definitely fireplaces. Is probably one of my most favorite and we're pretty much gonna wrap this up and until next time see you in the next one